0.15, man. I, didn't, I couldn't even believe it. Shit, man. And like, I guess I'm little, too, so. Do I need to accept or not? There's no way to not believe this house. And I assume this is all going to the Senate leadership and all that, too. On the night of May 2nd, 2023, California Senator David Min was driving from a downtown Sacramento hotel to his place of residence. Officer Kummerfeld and his partner, Officer Blanchard of the California Highway Patrol, observed the Senator's vehicle traveling without headlights on during dark hours. They followed him for several blocks before observing him stop at a traffic light. Senator Min proceeded to drive through the intersection while the traffic light remained red. It was at this point that the officers knew they could no longer allow the senator to be a menace on the streets. Officer Kummerfeld recognized the senator upon presentation of his driver's license. Senator Min notified the officer that the Toyota Camry was a vehicle owned by the California State Senate. The officer detected a strong odor of alcohol coming from his person, noticed his eyes were bloodshot and watery, and that he had slow and slurred speech. The senator was then escorted out of the vehicle for field sobriety tests. The officer noted that the senator displayed a lack of smooth pursuit with his eyes and an obvious early onset of nystagmus in both eyes. Nystagmus is when eyes noticeably jerk when they are moved to one side. This can indicate that a suspect is under the influence of drugs or alcohol. This test required the senator to estimate the passage of 30 seconds with his eyes closed. The senator guessed that he had hit 30 seconds after about 25 seconds. However, the officer noted that Min had a circular sway off center of several inches or more, which is typical for an inebriated person. The officer instructed Min to count in one one thousands while hovering his foot parallel to the ground. Oh boy, did Senator Min give us a show. Little did California voters know they had elected a hero on the dance floor. This politician belongs on Dancing with the Stars. The officer instructed Min to take nine heel to toe steps, turn around, and take another nine heel to toe steps. The officer noted that Min started before he was told to begin, placed the wrong foot forward when instructed, and often did not touch heel to toe per the instructions. Uh, we'll go through that route. Yeah, we got to go. Okay. I don't want to do that. This is way out. I'm just 
The senator ended up giving two breath samples at the scene, then another sample later at the station. He blew a .15 blood alcohol content, which is nearly twice the legal limit. California's Democratic Senator from the 37th District since 2020 apparently forgot that an Uber ride home would have cost him only roughly $12, while this charge could end up costing him his campaign, career, and his family. He racked up two misdemeanor charges including driving under the influence and driving with the blood alcohol content of .08 or greater. He registered at .15 blood alcohol content shortly after being stopped by the California Highway Patrol. He even admitted to drinking exactly two beers between the hours of 6.30 and 8.30 p.m., more than two hours prior to the traffic stop. Oh, and Coors Senator? Seriously? The police report noted that the Senator was so intoxicated that he was a danger to himself and others. He was booked into jail just before 1 a.m. on May 3, 2023. The duration of his stay at the Sacramento County Jail is unknown.
While you might hope his ambitions aren't too high at this point, this senator has announced his campaign for California's 47th Congressional District in January 2023. The election will be held in 2024. Fellow Democrats have remained glaringly silent regarding the charges, while those from the California Republican Party have called on the Democrats who endorse Min to clarify whether they will continue to support him following this incident, even calling him DUI Dave in this statement. Do you believe Senator Min should still be able to pursue higher political office? Or is that for the citizens of California to decide at the voting booth? Leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching Cop Cam Nation. Be sure to like and subscribe for more juicy content.